All right, so the second installment of this first lesson is the drawing in 3D section where we'll do some drawing in 3D. Won't take as long as that first one, that's for sure. Just before we do that, on the front cover of your booklet, there's this big guide of basically how to do trigonometry. Okay, so where we're at so far is does the triangle have a right angle? Yes. Does it involve finding an angle? or using an angle, all the ones we've looked at are yes. So you can write in here the three rules, okay? Okay, write the cosine one, hopefully neater than I have, and the tan rule as well. Okay, if it doesn't involve an angle, like we saw in that last problem, you need to use Pythagoras, okay? So, We've got that at our, at our disposal as well. Okay, so we're all just in right angle triangles. And in the drawing in 3D problems, it'll still be just using right angle triangles. Sine rule and cosine rule is where we'll use non right angle triangles. Alright, so drawing in 3D, some people seem to struggle with this. So just on a piece of paper, have a go at doing this first thing. Draw a diagram to represent a 30 meter tall building that's due north of a building that's 20 meters tall. Okay, so if I was trying to do this, I'd, okay, I'm not trying to highlight stuff. Okay, I'd think, all right, here's one building, here's another building. I don't know this distance, all right, but I know that these are 20 meters tall, so this is So the 30 meter tall building is due north of this one that's 20 meters. Okay, that's a pretty weird way to draw diagrams. Okay, the, the better way of drawing in 3D is to grab your normal compass rows, okay, north, south, east, west, and imagine grabbing a piece of paper vertically and putting it on the table and looking at that in 3D. So your real compass rows in 3D, your north, south, east, and west. This will be up, and this will be down. Okay. Might draw the up down one in a different color. Okay, up and down. Okay, so if I wanted to draw this scenario in 3D, I would draw my 20 meter tall building here, okay, 20 meters tall, and then due north, so in this direction, I'm going to draw my 30 meter tall building. Okay, so even though it's a building, most of the times we'll just draw it like as a stick, okay, to represent like the corner of the building. Don't need to draw the full thing. All right, so an alternative way of drawing it is to use a 3D box in the same way. So you start with a light 3D rectangle or square-based prism. Okay, with that same direction being north. Okay, so if you struggle to draw it this way, you can just say, well, in a different color probably. Here is my 20 meter building. Here is my 30 meter building. And I can show that that direction is north. There's always a few options. Okay, so let's solve a problem using that skill. So read through the problem. Two sporting wires of a flagpole are fixed to the ground at points A and B, which are due east and due south of the pole respectively. Yeah, the wires are 10 meters long each, and the flagpole is 8 meters above the ground. You've got to find these two things. So I'll start by drawing a diagram. Now have a go at drawing the diagram, diagram yourself first. I'm going to draw the flagpole first. Okay, so here's my flagpole. And it's fixed at the ground by points A and B. One is due east. So if I look at my 3D compass rows, I can see due east is just horizontally across. 
I said horizontally across. I've got point E, sorry, point A, because it's due east. And then point B is due south. So south is that diagonal direction this way. Okay, so I've used that piece of information. The two, so they're drawing on wires. That wire is 10 meters. That wire is 10 meters. Okay, and the flagpole is eight meters high. So this angle in here doesn't look like it, but it's actually 90 degrees. Okay, so that's a right angle. That's a right angle. And this angle in here, any guesses? That's a right angle too. Okay, they're all right angles. Okay, so part A asks for the angle of inclination of each wire to the ground. So I might call the top of this F and the bottom of it B for the base. So I can use triangle FBA, okay, to find that angle of inclination. Okay, that theta there. Okay, redraw that right angle triangle outside of that big 3D one and just label the things that you know and that you're trying to find. That's the opposite, that's the hypotenuse, I'm using sine. Okay, write the rule. Okay, and we can find what theta is. Okay, don't be lazy, go through this process properly. Okay, and you should be able to use a calculator from here. Shift sign of eight on 10. Okay, so 53.13 degrees. Yeah, that's the angle of inclination. So if you wanted to walk up one of those wires to the flagpole, that's the angle you'd be walking up, pretty steep. Okay, part B asks us for the distance between points A and B. Sure. I've labeled my diagram wrong. That should be point B down here. And I'll call that flag, I'll call that G. Okay, so sorry for ruining all of your notes. Okay, so I want to know this distance between A and B. Okay, so I'm trying to solve something on the ground like this. Okay, trying to find this distance. I don't know anything else about the ground, so I need to find that distance AG first, which will be the same as BG. Okay, since the wires are the same distance apart. Okay, so first I'll find AG, okay, which I can do in that same triangle that I just used above there. I okay, got 8 and 10. So I can use a bit of Pythagoras here. Yeah, I'll try to find this A at the bottom. A squared plus B squared is C squared. 8 squared and 10 squared, just solve this for A. Now you're doing a bit of subtraction. Hopefully you guys are okay with Pythagoras. If you're not, just let me know and we can do some more work on it. Okay, so I've got 6 there for A. So I know this distance is 6. I know this distance is 6 as well. Okay, you can use that other triangle to show that it's also 6. So now I'm finding the distance AB okay, using this triangle so A, B, and C. Write my Pythagoras rule. 6 squared plus 6 squared is x squared. So x will be 6. square root of these two squared should always do plus or minus and reject a 
Yeah, cool, minus six. Hey, okay, don't be lazy, even though I'm trying to be lazy. Okay, 8.49. For the distance between those two points on the ground. Okay, so we can say A and B are 8.49 meters apart. Okay, so there's two steps in there. All we did was identify right angle triangles where we could solve certain distances to help us build up this right angle triangle on the base to find the distance between those two points. Okay, so have a go at these questions. So these ones in exercise 4D and there's some practice 3D problems down here as well. Okay, the biggest thing with 3D problems is drawing a nice label diagram and then just extracting out from your label diagram, right angle triangles to solve.